Alexios, it was never supposed to be like this. Decades ago, a group of people gathered together to uphold a theory which they believed could control the universe. That the world functioned in equal parts, order and disorder. But some fell lovingly into the wicked arms of Chaos, and the cult of Cosmos was born. They abused their power, casting the Greek world into eternal war, one you were created to stop. In destroying the cult, you have done what I could not. You are a hero, but this imbalance comes with a price, my child. For without chaos, there is supreme order, a loss of progression and freedom. But there is still hope. Hope in you. Hope in the future you will bring. We must fix the mistakes of the past. Use the staff. Repair the rift in the universe. The world depends on you, Alexios. You need to be the hero again. So, you've seen it too then. It's beautiful, isn't it? What are you doing here? You killed the last member of the cult. Well, just about. What? It's true. I was their leader. But only for a moment, it seemed. When your sister came along, it changed everything we were aiming for. You agreed with them? The fucking cult? The powers that be in the Greek world weren't doing things the right way. The cult just wanted a clean slate. By way of corruption? Dirty drachmi? They killed people in a war they made themselves! Fueling war was one of the methods, yes. But it was controlled. Until suddenly it wasn't. And then I didn't like what we were doing anymore. I thought Demos was on your side. Not in the way we hoped. As you know, she's impossible to control. She worked her way to the helm, and then she held even more sway than I did. Malaka. So you are after us. Not you, your bloodline. People like Leonidas, like you, have always posed a threat. Then we met and you surprised me. You were nothing like Demos. Why not just use me? I was in the palm of your hand. You made me optimistic that you could help me bring down the cult that had become so corrupt. And you did, albeit unknowingly.
Telling me you're a cultist to guts. You know what I do to cultists, Aspasia. I didn't want to lie to you anymore. Now that they're gone, we can work together. I think we'd make a good match, don't you? I just don't understand. What about this pyramid? How does it work? Why does the cult have it? I've been trying to figure out all of that myself. It's as much of a mystery to you as it is to me. This pyramid has been worshipped by the cult for decades, and we have used it to replace the Oracle of Delphi, the most trusted person in all the Greek world. Using the people's reliance on a pantheon of dead gods would help to reshape humanity in our favor. The pyramid holds a mysterious power to see into time. But only certain people can activate it. People like Themos, and the ones in your bloodline. But you've seen something too. I don't know how or why, but it did show me... something. What did you see? I saw you. In the vision, you destroyed the pyramid and you destroyed the cult. I saw what would come after. After the cult? We will be replaced by a new kind of order. Control under the reign of a philosopher king. There would be a movement away from the old gods towards rational society. Built in a kingdom by the people, for the people. And I must find someone to lead them. But I couldn't achieve any of this with the cult and their chaotic regime. So, I let them carry out their plans, and let the time of the cult of Cosmos come to an end on its own. Wait. Did Pericles know? I wanted to protect him, so I kept him in the dark. He would have had his own opinions, but he was never supposed to die. That is the truth. He trusted you. And in the end, you didn't protect him. Maybe he'd be alive if you'd stop them. Gods know I would have if I could. When Vimos killed him, I knew the original cause was lost. I had to retreat. So, what happens now? We shift focus. We steer towards a new republic under one supreme rule. A dream I'll make a reality. But it is still a dream. One that isn't realistic. Abandon what you know and just imagine. Forget democracy. No more blue and red. Just citizens working for a greater good. This is crazy. It won't work, Aspasia. It didn't work. It's not crazy. It's enlightened. Once people in Athens get wind of this, they'll come to know they've wanted it all along. Even you. Uh, I'm not sure. You've spent your whole life thinking for yourself. Let go. What I plan will require you to trust me. Come with me. This future's not a dream. I can't let you do this. You've caused so much damage. You destroyed the Greek world. You've proven you have no understanding of what we're doing. I misjudged you. So did I. Alexios, there is much left to do now. Alexis! 
A storm is going. I can weather any storm.
sun has set. This artifact will help us close off the temple. You're nearly as stubborn as its former owner. Understanding has twisted your mind. I'm sorry. The precursors should never have shared knowledge you weren't ready for. You live in obsessive darkness. You must understand that this focus on power and bloodlines is not your true legacy. The precursors have manipulated you. They're turning your problem-solving intellect to their own selfish ends. Make your own legacy. Let your mathematical discoveries be the glorious sunbeams that shine out past your tomb. Please, scholar, clear your mind and focus on your present situation. At this moment, you possess a powerful artifact. It has extended your life long enough. As hard as it may be, it's time to pass it on. It's someone else's turn to balance the equations. No. No. Lies. This is not obsession. This is research. This is discovery of the very origins of the world. It is an opinion, Pythagoras. Though one with reason behind it, I believe.
Silence, snake. What's going on? We will bring this evil creature to justice. They're lost in paranoia. They think I sacrificed my Ligia to the creature in the forest. Hold your fourth tongue. This walking curse is in league with a writhing dread. She just looks scared to me. Please, the creature took Ligia. If I die here, who will save her? I'll save Ligia and kill any creature that tries to stop me. What are you saying? She will lead you to the Petrified Temple and your doom. This writhing dread has let Lehia live. We'll need to move now. Follow me. Careful. These people are driven by fear. The girl's coming with me. I suggest not standing in our way. She's whispered spells in your ear, Mistios. Citizens, we must save our city. And these interlopers must plead. Hide in the temple. I'll deal with this. to be safe, Mistios. I want to look deep into Ligia's eyes just once more, even if it kills me. Love might be the end of us all, but it's a price worth paying. I polished Charon's drachmi long ago, Mistios. I'm ready. You know, I don't want to call you... you forever. My name's Bris. Alexios. Ligia's waiting for me, Alexios. If I'd been captured, I'd never have to wait for her. Then let's not disappoint her. Where was she taken? From our sanctuary, the Dread Ruins in the Petrified Valley. And you're surprised she was taken by a creature? It's not safe here. We need to leave the city. Come on. Ours, Ligia's and mine. 
A forbidden place for forbidden love. Not much of a love nest. I've seen more romantic funerals. I found scraps of her clothes leading to the writhing dreads lair. Please, we need to hurry. Time to find Ligia. You lead the way. What happened to these trees? I shouldn't be here. the realm of the riding dread. Listen, it's as if sound itself is afraid of what the fog veils. It's getting hard to breathe. Even the air is dead. These statues are unnervingly lifelike, and their faces are contorted in fear. It destroys all living things, transforming them to stone and leaving them frozen in fear for all eternity. If she's... if she's stone, how will we bury her? She'll never meet her. Ligia! Ligia! Breeze, wait! Malaka! Better go after her. Side. But I see no openings, and the walls are too smooth to climb. She shouldn't be in there. She should be in my arms. Her breath, her smell. Every night we'd meet at the dread ruins. I was late, just once. I wanted to find her a rose, something as perfect as she is. This is my fault. If I'd gotten there in time, Then you'd both be trapped inside. Together? You were searching for a rose. A gift. Never regret an act of kindness, please. Thank you. What do you know about this place? Ligia's a daughter of Artemis. Her people trained here long ago. A legend tells of an ancient artifact they recovered in a pit full of snakes. She believed they still had it, hidden in their village on Chios. I'll find it. There's also a mercenary, a man who claims he killed the creature. Impossible. But many believe him. He might know something. You said Ligia knew how to get into the lair. Where exactly is the key? The daughters of Artemis hide their most prized possessions in a cave in their village. The key is... I'll find a way inside, and then I'll kill this creature. And I'll find Ligia the Rose. Someone, I tell you, in another time will remember us. The poet Sappho. Our favorite. Please, Alexios, hurry.
Have a good flight. Ella. Daughters of Artemis are where Bree said they'd be. The cave with the key must be nearby. Here we are. He's not here. Ugh, must be in another cave. Ugh! <laughs> 
There's something different about this village. like the place.
disc from the Hia's story. I hope it opens the Riding Dread's lair, like they say. Let's go. Have you found a way inside the lair? Ligia's story was true. The daughters of Artemis were protecting this... disc... key... this... <sighs> I have what opens the lair. Then what are you waiting for? Use the disc! Open the door! There's no time for the mercenary. Whatever he knows, we'll find out ourselves. We're opening that door, now. You have Ligia's heart, Alexios. What your breeze? Yeah. 
must have picked up the artifact. Someone, I tell you, in another time, will remember us. Well done. This artifact will bring us closer to seeing the temple. It nearly brought me closer to my tombstone. Traveler of many times, congratulations on making it this far. I'm glad we can share this message out of time, this fragment of reality. I'm recording this just for you, even if those living in the past won't understand it. Our simulated realities will cross sooner or later. Who do you think you're really here now, listening to this recording? Isn't this an animus recreation? Isn't it part of a greater simulation? How far do the ripples in the pool spread? Let's talk, rebel to rebel. We've been held back too long by precursor rules. It's time for new paths with new possibilities. This is not an era of control, but of creation. I've gathered some like-minded precursors to make a new start. We'll stop interfering and start enabling. From your point of view, it will take a considerable amount of time to prepare. But when we're ready, you're welcome to join us. After all, all you have to do is press a button and run another simulation. This is madness! Fiction! Well, I thought there would be wisdom that is only the garbled babbling of a fool. Pythagoras, calm yourself. Maybe this invitation was meant for someone else. There's no need to lose your reason over mere words. This is incredible. The knowledge stored here is overwhelming. It will take me years to decipher it all. What about sealing Atlantis? Have you found a way to do it? Oh, yes, yes, I think so. Well? What is it? The staff. The staff is the key. All right. It's time. I can't. Not yet. We can't stay here. We don't have the time. There's so much to learn with this knowledge. 
knowledge, we can turn the tide of fate. That is not our destiny. You said so yourself. You're losing sight of what's important. I will not be ordered around or lectured by you. It was your plan to seal this place, and I agreed to help. That was before I realized what we would uncover about the first civilization. The creation of humankind. We are sealing this place to keep the cult from using it to enslave humanity. That is bigger than your quest for knowledge. The cult will be nothing but an insect to swat once the power is ours. It's too dangerous to leave this place open, and you know it. He wouldn't understand. Your pride will cost us all in the end. It's not about pride. What good is knowledge if you curse all of humanity in the process? It's what you wanted to avoid in the first place. Sometimes it's better if we find our own path. Duh! We are not ready for the power this place offers. You're right. I cannot save humanity directly, but I can save it from itself. This is your burden now. Humanity's fate will be decided by the choices you make. I understand. Alexios, choose wisely. Atlantis is too dangerous. I must seal it. Everything in order? Then... Open sesame. So much power. The nodes are interconnected in ways I couldn't imagine. This is more complex than any Isu temple we found. Lisbon, the Arctic. I'm recording everything, Layla. You're going to be a hero for discovering this. Do you see the staff anywhere? Not yet, but there's more to explore. I'll find it. Mechanism should be open. What's wrong? I, I don't know, Layla. I'll check my notes on the Isu. Oh, I see. There's a beam of light missing. Time to troubleshoot.
is it? exists knowing that you know nothing a good friend told me that once possible Alexios yes I used to be called the eagle bearer but Icaros is long gone I've been searching for you but you can't. It's... <laughs> you weren't really looking for me, were you? It works! The Isu artifact, the staff of Hermes Trismegistus! You must have so many questions, Leila. You know my name? Maybe the gods told me. Maybe I had a vision of the future. Maybe the device in your ear is noisy. Sorry. I came here with a purpose, to find you, and put an end to what I started many centuries ago. I have your spear. Would you like it back? Oh, no. You can keep it. It's broken. But you used it broken. It was powerful. I used it to defeat enemies even Erothotos could not describe. But... Everything must come to an end. I left it to him when its power was exhausted. Something to remember me by. I... I have so much to tell you. That staff is incredibly important. It kept you alive. How? Ask a student of Hippocrates. I hear he still has some. The staff served its purpose. My friends and I are trying to keep it out of the hands of the Templar Order. Listen to me. Order, chaos, if either triumphs alone, the world dies. I tried to bring an end to chaos, and it has only led to ruin. I used to assist order. Now I fight for choice, freedom, chaos. Pythagoras was right. You are the key to the prophecy. You will restore the balance, Leila. I have fought. In too many wars, I've seen too many people die. I've traveled from one end of the earth to the other. This belongs to you now. Promise me one thing. Anything. When you are done, Destroy them all. There's so much of the story I haven't seen. I should go back to the Animus and visit Alexios again. What are you two doing here? You know us. Always on your tail. 
Old Herodotus couldn't wait to see you. I told you, Van Nevers. Sira is said to hold a secret. A secret no one can fathom. Yes, but a lost world. It's perfectly possible. Atlantis may exist. Sounds like Hui to me, but he's insistent about it. Herodotus is right. Atlantis exists. Incredible. It's true. I can't believe it. Tell me everything. My mother sent me here to meet my real father. You know Pythagoras? It's him. Your father was living in a volcano? Pythagoras? That's unthinkable. It would make him immortal. He had a staff that belonged to the ancient civilization. It kept him alive all this time. Makes perfect sense. Well, where is he? Invite him along. He's your father, after all. He was a stubborn man. He wanted to keep all of the knowledge of Atlantis to himself. <laughs> stubborn. I suppose that trait runs in the family. He means he's sorry for your loss. It's all right. But none of this can ever pass your lips. This stays between us. You have my word. But the world needs to know. We could tell the most amazing tale of our time. Herodotus. Oh, fine. Then it's settled. Let's move forward. Like always. We've learned a lot, haven't we? You know it all. Speak for yourself. I'm on the hunt for truth. Gods know not all your myths are accurate. They come from the gods themselves, who are the most reliable sources we have. For all we know, anything's possible. And you would know, as the eagle-bearing demigod you are. <laughs> Perhaps he too is immortal. <laughs> <laughs> sure I am. I do know one thing for certain. This has been an odyssey I won't forget. <laughs>